Yes, mate, 2-0, Newcastle United against Nottingham Forest. How are we feeling after that? Are you surprised at the dominant display that Newcastle showed? No, I'm not surprised. I predicted 3-0 before the game. Um, I don't, I've seen a lot of people recently, they've came out and they've done like their 1-20 of where they think people will where they think different teams will finish. And a lot of people have got Nottingham Forest to be safe. I'm not sure why mm. that is, to be honest. If you look at the lineup, it's hard to recognise a player. You've got Lingard, you've got Henderson, you've got Colback who shouldn't be playing in the Premier League. <laughs> so I, 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 I don't know. I'm not sure where that conference comes from. I've, I've predicted uh, Fulham to be the one that stays up, and they were really good this morning when I watched them. Uh, pleased with that as well. A few of my pals are Liverpool fans, so uh, <laughs> wipe the smile off their face. Like, but I, today I thought we were really good. We control the uh, actually really good. Might be a bit of an exaggeration, just because lacking like that cutting edge in the final third. Do you know what I mean? I didn't think Wilson was quite up to it. He did get the goal in the end, to be fair. I thought Maxi was good. His uh, decision-making looked better. His shooting was still not great. Um, but yeah, in the first half in particular, like we were attacking, but it didn't look too dangerous. Forrest were awful. So it, it's, I'm pleased because you don't know what you're going to get when you play a promoted side. Um, and we should be happy with it, but we kind of get too gusty, you know what I mean? Like... That's the thing, it's still a newly promoted side, isn't it? Like, we did make it look easier today, yeah, but we we're going we're to have, obviously, much tougher days here, aren't we? Yeah, 100%. I mean, if we want to finish top eight, some people are seeing top six, um, then teams like this, you have to get three points against, do you know what I mean? Which we did last season, to be fair, once, once how came in anyway. Um, I think our competition this season isn't the traditional top six. I think it's your villa. Uh, Leicester, West Ham, I think that's who we're up against. If we can finish ahead of them, that would be a pretty impressive season for me. We could nick seventh. But I well, there's two ways of looking at it, I think. One way of looking at it is looking at quality of squad. I think our squad, personally, I don't think it's as good as Villa's. Like, it, it, let's say, look, if you look at attacking options, we've got Wilson, who's good, Maxi, who's good when he wants to be, and then the rest is pretty average. I, yeah. I think most people would agree. I've I seen a few people say after the pre season that Miggy has had that we don't need a right winger anymore. And I, I completely disagree personally. I don't think he's good enough. I, I love him. He's always smiling, but it's, that, that's not enough. Do you know what I mean? It's like going to the barbers and he's got good patter, but he gives you a shit haircut. Like, it's, <laughs> it, that, that, that's not good enough. Do you know what I mean? So, I, I think you're right, though, because I was trying to stake a claim from him here on praying that he would come good after scoring six goals in pre season. But today, against one of the probably that, one of the lowest sides that are going to finish in the Premier League. Oh, yeah. Like you see, he's still lacking that. It's just a threat in the final third, isn't it? Yeah, he's shooting as well. It's like he's being a bad shoes, man. Aye. It's honestly, I don't even know. It's like he's got cushion in his socks or something. Like, it's just where's the power? Where's the placement? It's you had one in the second half where you hit it straight at um, Henderson. Um, like I say, I would like him part of the squad, but we need to bring in a right winger. I think that needs to be a priority. I would act personally. I would rather have a right winger than a striker. Or Madison, right winger instead of Madison. Uh, no, I would take Madison, but I'll play him on the right wing. I think he could yeah, play on the right wing. He has. He's played exactly. He has done that for Leicester. He's been in number ten. He's been in the left. He's been in the right. Madison is absolutely brilliant. I think there was um, eight or ten players last season that got ten goals and ten assists, and he was one of them. So you look at the other players that done that. It was like Mason Mount, um, Ronaldo, Son, Salah. That that echelon of players. So he would be the one that I would really want, but I just don't think he's going to come. Like, what do you reckon? I, don't, I think he'll come. I just think New, I don't think Newcastle will pay the 56 million required. Uh, what well, have you been a bit? F see, I didn't want to see anything negative because we've just won today. <laughs> and the owner surprised that we haven't spent much. Is that what you're saying? Like, as much as you thought. Just like the negotiations being a bit stingy, like hasn't it? Like uh, why are we coming for, in for a player like Madison if we're not going to go over 40 yeah, million? Did, said, did we honestly think we were going to sign a player like him for 40 million? Never. If we want to do that, then we need to look abroad. Do you know what I mean? Uh, there's um, there's one lad called Berardi who was in the Italy squad when they won the Euros, who I've been really impressed with. I'm, I, I'm not going to make out like I know loads about him. He plays for Sassuolo, who that's who um, that Skamaka came from for West yeah, Ham. Good signing for West Ham. Uh, he got like 15 goals, 15 assists last season in a very respectable league. I think he's got like 270 appearances for Sassuolo and he's got like a combined goals and assists of about 200. It's it's mental. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you would have to break the bank for someone like him um, because he's, he's not been... Surprisingly, there's been no one that's been after him. I'd, I don't know if that's just because Sassuolo made it clear that he won't go. But he's a good player. He's like six foot tall. He's like 27 in his prime. That, that's what I want. I don't want. I don't really want an up and coming player. That's why personally I wasn't that excited about Ekitike no, because unproven. that yeah, like that's someone that it's going to take a few years to get there, right? Um, but we want someone that can come straight into the first eleven, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. Thanks, mate. Nice one. Cheers, man.